Hi guys, today I wanted to quickly show you X-Land. X-Land is a non-repetitive landscape material and is part of the X-Tile family of non-repetitive tiling materials, X-Tile Plus and Base. It does, however, differ in that it uses its own set of functions and is set to be used to, as a procedural landscape material in addition to the optional painting features available. The project file comes with four master materials, a one, two, three, and four blend material setup. They all share the same characteristics and can be extended to any amount of blends should you wish to extend it beyond the provided examples. Here, I'm going to show you the four material uh, setup. Uh, and on the first uh, section, we have the uh, auto setup, which controls the procedural nature of the material. And uh, the first thing we see is the overall tiling, which controls the tiling of all the textures uh, combined. Um, but since we can individually control them, we can uh, leave this on default unless you need to control them all together. Uh, below that we have the height and sharpness blend for each layer so by playing with these parameters for example if i uh, turn this up you'll see that we can start to add uh, parts of that uh, blend parts of the texture below that we have the paint setup and um, since um, you can also add uh, layers through the uh, landscape paint tool here uh, this controls, uh, this allows you to control the outer edge brush uh, when applying a layer via the landscape uh, brush tool. Um, below that we have the uh, terrain normal and this is a normal uh, map that I exported uh, when I created the terrain in uh, World Creator. Uh, it's optional to use but it adds uh, more detail to your landscape and here I have entered the uh, correct uh, coordinate um, uh, number uh, corresponding to the uh, terrain that uh, I created. And if you're not familiar with uh, the co landscape coordinates, uh, you can refer to the Unreal documentation that uh, shows you or explains uh, uh, in great, great detail on how uh, or why uh, you need to uh, adhere to some of these uh, uh, weird numbers. Uh, below that you have the uh, distance adjustments which controls the uh, uh, specular, uh, specular roughness and normal according to a uh, camera a distance um, or distance from the camera which controls the uh, reflections that uh, can occur on uh, large uh, landscape uh, materials giving it a, sort of a, a fakey feel and this eliminates uh, or controls that uh, uh, area. Uh, below that we have a splat mask and uh, again this is something I exported from uh, World Creator. It's basically a black and white uh, splat mask uh, and I can uh, control the color and intensity here and it gives uh, a nice variation that uh, I use uh, at a distance uh, from the camera. Uh, and below that we have uh, the displacement. Um, the displacement section um, that controls, of course, the displacement and tessellation of the material of the uh, landscape. Uh, uh, wor uh, word of warning here: uh, in version 4.24, I've disabled the displacement because of a bug in, in that version. In which case, the landscape uh, displacement material may. Um, uh, show or may have very high um, uh, shader uh, compilation times um, and just uh, be careful of that if you do decide to turn them on however it works uh, fine in uh, the uh, other versions uh, available uh, below that you have uh, each of the main uh, blends uh, ground uh, grass uh, uh, rock and snow and uh, below that we have the uh, puddles uh, they all share the same uh, parameters except for the puddles so I'll just go through uh, the grass one for example and I'll just uh, zoom out a little so you can see here um, are, is the uh, uh, basic uh, uh, variation uh, seed uh, that I can uh, change to get a uh, different uh, random uh, result of the texture. As you can see, I can uh, just uh, play around with this uh, number here 
and get an infinite number of variations. Uh, below that, uh, we have the um, uh, the scaling of near, middle, and far. Each of these textures is divided into three sections, a uh, close section, a middle section, and a far section. And this is what these numbers control. And here, the fade uh, length and offset controls the distance from the camera uh, for each of these uh, scale uh, sections. Uh, below that, we have the coverage, the radius, contrast, tiling, and fracture, which controls how this angle uh, variation is applied uh, to the uh, landscape uh, material. Come back. Uh, <clears throat> and um, again, if I change, you can see that uh, you can change some of these parameters and uh, get a different uh, sort of uh, result. Uh, you also have a uh, breakup brightness variation, which uh, is uh, random uh, brightness that is applied to the uh, uh, texture. And in addition, below that, you also have the uh, color variation that uh, is controlled via this mask um, and is applied to the texture. Uh, below that, you have the uh, typical um, parameters associated with a texture, um, with a material, basically uh, your brightness, uh, desaturation, normal strength, roughness, AO, uh, specular, etc., uh, which you can control here. In addition, you also have a height-based roughness, which controls uh, roughness based on uh, height. Uh, in case you want to have uh, different uh, roughness values, uh, depending on how or where you are uh, on the elevation scale. Uh, below that you have the uh, fuzzy shading that you can turn on, which controls the uh, fuzziness of the grass. Um, all the parameters, as I said, are the same. Uh, the only difference is in the snow. And here we have a subsurface color and intensity, of course. And we also have a snow speckle, which turns on a sort of a speckle glow in the uh, snow. Um, here, as I said, the, uh, the puddle uh, section uh, has uh, this, I'll just turn it on so you can see, has quite a few parameters that you can uh, play with. It adds this sort of wetness to the whole uh, of the landscape. Of course, uh, if you don't want it to be applied to the whole landscape, you can uh, uh, turn it off and apply uh, sort of puddles based uh, or using the um, landscape uh, uh, paint tools. Um, so if I come to the top of the mountain, say, here you can get an idea of how it looks from above. And as you can see, it's a pretty nice landscape. And if I come down again, you can see the, how it looks. As in all of X-Tile um, materials, it, the uh, X-Land is broken up into material functions, so you can use them uh, independently or as you see fit in your own uh, creations, if you so wanted to. Um, and um, I guess that's it. I hope you found this uh, overview useful. Um, if you have any comments, please leave them below. Um, and uh, good luck with your projects, guys. Bye.